What's up everybody, Dazed here, back with another Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2 video. And today I'm going to be showing you how to beat Parallel Quest number 20 and getting the move Mystic Flash. Now make sure you do stick around to the end because we'll be going over how to use this move. It's not like a lot of other moves. Uh, this is an ultimate attack and it works a little bit differently. So we're going to go over how to use that move after I show you how to get it. Now one thing to remember is Dragon Ball's universe is RNG. That means you're going to get a random chance. Assuming you do everything right, you might get the drop. Uh, it kind of sucks, but it's what we have to work with. In these parallel quest videos that I do, what I do is I show you where the skill drops happen, if it shows you. Uh, any certain things you need to do, if you need the ultimate finish, I just try to discuss all that and give you some general tips to help you get through the whole mission itself. Because, you know, if you can't beat it, you're going to have a problem with it. Now, when I do these missions, I always go alone. You're always going to see that for the most part in these, so keep in mind you want to take some people with you. Like I said, Parallel Quest number 20, defeat 20 of Frieza's underlings, clear with at least 10 minutes left, and uh, you got the ultimate win, ultimate, uh, ultimate finish on this. And our reward is going to be that Mystic Flash, and like I said, this is a move you may want to get. It is a little bit trickier to use, but it can be very, very helpful for you. So I do suggest that you go ahead and grind out this move, especially if you're newer to the game. You want to get all these moves unlocked. All right, so let's get started. And you're going to notice that there's somebody standing right in front of me, and that's going to be Nail. Now, I'm going to charge up. Nobody's locked on to me. They can't see me. We're going to charge our key. We're going to transform. And then you want to talk to Nail, because if you don't know, Mystic Flash is his ultimate. So, I don't know that it's 100% needed, but I'm not going to take the risk. I'm going to talk to him, and then he's going to help us out. And uh, I think the only way you are going to get the move is if you do talk to him. But now you're just going to have to come and kill 20 of these Frieza soldiers. It can be a bit annoying. It takes a while, especially if you're a lower level. I'm not really leveled up, and I haven't even put my stat points in most places. So, it was a little bit of a pain. Now, a couple things you might want to make sure you have are some battle items equipped. You want healing items. Uh, just in case you're getting attacked by more than one person, you want to make sure your health is good to go. Another thing, like I mentioned earlier in the video, I do not take anybody with me. You might want to take some other people with you, and that'll keep the enemies off your back. You know, you'll, you'll get more one-on-ones. And uh, third, a move I recommend if you are going at it alone with no help is Super Key Explosion. Uh, this is going to catch a lot of people at once. You'll see flashes of it on the screen right now. I didn't really see a purpose in showing you me beating 20 of these easy people. Uh, but we're going to finish off the last person right here, number 20. We did it with more than 10 minutes on the clock, and now we're going to have to fight Frieza. Now, as you're going to see, I have my healing items pulled up right now, and that's because while I have this moment, I'm going to go ahead and heal myself. Now, I wasn't really sure how much I was down at that point, but you go ahead and heal yourself when you have the chance. You know, get that out the way. We're going to speed through this because you're just fighting first form Frieza. You really shouldn't have a problem with it, especially if you take people with you and have Nail there. So, right now, we're going to finish off Frieza, and you're going to notice I have not pointed out anywhere that we've gotten a skill drop. And that's because it hasn't happened in this mission. Unfortunately, this is one of the ones that doesn't tell you. This is why I do suggest you talk to Nail. It is his move. I think you want him on your team. And uh, get that ultimate finish. And always try and Z-rank these missions. That's going to be the best way to ensure that you have the best chance to unlock these moves. Well, now that you have the move, we're going to go ahead and check it out. Because like I said, this move doesn't work like most ultimates. It's just a little bit different. And the main difference that we really have with this move is going to be in the direction it fires. Because it's not, like I said, it's not like a normal ultimate. And as you can see, he is firing backwards. So, this move is something that you're going to use for people that maybe like to vanish a lot. Or you're going to have to be a little bit of creative with the way you use your combos. Because you can use this in a combo. You break the stamina... And you can, you can get this move off. Uh, also, certain combos, a male earthling combo, can actually catch a mystic flash. Uh, and I'm going to demonstrate that in a second. Right now, we're just going to check out the power. Now, this isn't a maxed out character, and it doesn't do a ton of damage. If I was more maxed out and a key blaster, it would do a lot more damage than that. Right here, I'm demonstrating, as they vanish, you can catch them in this. This is only a three-bar key ultimate, too, so keep that in mind. Like, this is going to be something that you're going to be able to catch people that just want to vanish back and forth. And it'll be very good against the computer, too, because a lot of times you can predict when they are going to vanish. 
Now, as you can see, we've turned on guard from the start. And what this does is the first chance that they can block it, they will. So if your combo's not fast enough, you can't do it. Well, fortunately for us, with the male Earthling, we are able to get this move off in a combo by doing a back hit. All right, this is a basic triangle square, triangle square, back hit, and then into Mystic Flash. See it again right here. And we go right into the move, and you have enough time to catch them. Barely enough time, but as long as your inputs are pretty quick, you can do that. And then from there, I mean, you can really just start throwing this in combos. You know, it just depends on the character and where there's enough stun to be able to get the move off, because that's what it depends on, a little extra stun. So let me know what you think in the move down below. Uh, do you find it useful or not? Like I said, it does take a little, in my opinion, a little extra skill to pull off in a combo, but it's definitely usable. Well, if you do like the content I'm putting out, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.